Hello and welcome to The View from Feliban. I'm Silvia Pavoni, Economics Editor of The Banker, and I'm in Medellin in Colombia uh, for the first day of uh, this uh, big Latin America banking conference. I'm talking to Enrique Ramirez, who is the CEO of Ban Reservas from the uh, Dominican Republic. Um, Enrique, thank you for your time. We were just talking about the fact that um, as the conference grew, more and more Asian banks are also attending. Uh, what is the impact that this is having on your bank? Yes, um, thank you for the invitation and uh, allowed me to participate in uh, this interview. Um, uh, Asian banks are more aggressive in the region. Uh, we noticed since the um, last two years, they've been more active and participating more in this type of events. Usually, uh, Latin American banks uh, have um, um, reduced connection with direct, direct connection with uh, Asian banks. Now it's, it's, it's growing every day. They are more active uh, and, um, and participating more in these type of events because they have more interest in the region. That's what we notice, and that's why we uh, we visit Asia this year, and uh, we establish direct connection with uh, the three most important uh, Chinese banks. And uh, the which banks in particular? It's uh, Bank of China, Communications Bank, and and Michin Bank. Very good. And uh, you were saying that uh, uh, more formal official connections have been established between Latin American banks and Asian banks in particular, Chinese banks. But uh, I also know that there, there have been a growing number of uh, no, growing numbers of investments in uh, the Dominican Republic and, and not so much in the tourism sector, which is what perhaps everybody and uh, most people tend to associate the country with, uh, but in the manufacturing sector. Can you, can you elaborate yes, on this? Right. Uh, the Dominican Republic signed an agreement with the U.S., which is called DR CAFTA, and it allowed us as a country to get into the U.S. market without paying any tariff and uh, choose uh, that our manufacturer in the Dominican Republic. So Chinese uh, industries in the, in the shoes industry have been moving to DR, establishing the plans for manufacturers in the Dominican Republic. That's in fact also very positive because it generates a lot of empl new employment and uh, attract new investment into the Dominican Republic. So ch the biggest Chinese true manufacturers are establishing in the Dominican Republic because of that agreement and the benefit to get into the U.S. market without paying any tariff. Obviously, and uh, I know that this is having an impact both on the retail, retail side but also on the commercial side, is that right? Yes, so for example, um, the, the specifically in the choose manufacturers in the DR, we are expecting a growth in the next five years of 25,000 new employments. So that's a big number uh, for a specific industry. And um, uh, Chinese definitely are focused on the U.S. market. Uh, they will take advantage of, of this type of agreement. Very good. Well, thank you so much. Best of luck for the future and look forward to hearing uh, what will happen over the next 12 months and next Feliban. Thank you. Thank you very much.